here for the men's individual recurve. Coming up now, though, it's the gold medal match. So here's the tail of the tape, the route to the finals. Steve Weiler at the top, coming through Meta Gajos in the semi-finals. Brady Ellison, the American, coming through Mauro Nespoli, 6-4, meaning Steve Vaya will go up against Brady Ellison in the gold medal match here in Turkey. Brady Ellison won in Medellin, so his place in the finals is confirmed. No real pressure on him here, but Steve Vaya also looks relaxed and ready. Feeling super excited. To be honest, I came here with uh, the preparation from just being on the moment and uh, working on the medal aspect, but I'm really happy to be in a golf medal match. You always expect a close match in the final. Um, Steve's a great shooter, and he's, he's, you know, kind of, he was number one in the world, and then he just wasn't quite there, just top eight, top eight, you know, and then now he's in the finals again, and I think he wants it. And uh, I want another one too, so I think it's going to be one of those matches that it's going to be a 30 to win. Well, the athletes are both waiting in the wings. 22 year old Steve Viler of the Netherlands up against the 30 year old world number four Brady Ellison from the USA, and they are ready to come out onto the range. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the Recurve men's gold medal match. This is a high quality lineup. Recurve archery. On target Shooting one. on target one. Represented the world the number two from Steve the Netherlands, Byler. Steve Weiler. He's got a 9-2-2 average arrow. And on target number two. He's pretty good at the tiebreakers. And you look the at these United medals, Brady Ellison over Brady the years has Ellison. collected a lot of medals. Steve Byer, much younger, already has a number to his name. Ten in fact, but Elijah look at Ellison's record. Ellison is the world number four at 30 years old. He's taken the gold medal in Medellin. He was the bronze medalist in Shanghai. Those are the first two stages of the Hyundai Archery World Cup. And he's up for another medal here, a minimum of silver for him, and a hat-trick of medals through the first three World Cup stages. He's already booked his place in Moscow for the World Cup finals. So we know that he's going. If Steve Viola wins, he will confirm his attendance at the World Cup finals in Moscow. So it's a real big one here, and the pressure is, again, a key factor and uh, really interesting. Pressure on Viola to win this one and book his place. No pressure on Ellison, who shoots first. So he could get some massive scores here. Yeah. And it's a cracking start. Uh, now a drift and uh, you can see Vala already adjusting something on the, on the site. Right there. Yeah. Mackenzie, your teammate, nailing another 10 as Brady's wife looks on. Yeah, Joy Ellison from Slovenia uh, watching uh, her husband on the line shooting in this gold medal match. Um, lots she doesn't of look as nervous as you. No, I, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Two tens from the American. Nine. A nine to finish off, but that puts it out of reach. Viola's eight in the first arrow. Let's put him in a position where he can't level up, but he does finish with two tens. The adjustment to the site, good for Viola, but the set points in the first set go to the American, who is in a rich vein of form. Starting so well, so confidently. 
Here are the two tens from Brady Allison. First one, really, really close indeed. That must have given a whole load of confidence. And his confidence must be sky high, Mackenzie, at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's been able to uh, he's been able to practice a lot more and give himself some confidence in his his practice, and then come out here um, even more so to start off with a, a dead center shot and really follow it through the whole match. Yeah, he's uh, on great form at the moment. But Steve Vila, after shooting an eight, found the center of the target. He will shoot first in this second set. More adjustments from the Dutch archer here. Yeah. Steve Vier shooting two nines. No. Uh, drift over to the left again. As Toya looks on. So a 10 That's here special. to go four set points to nil up. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And that was exactly what Ellison did. Two tens and a nine again from him. High quality shooting from the American. He's already four nil up. And the consistency from the American this season has been incredible. The consistency in this match, Mackenzie, also Yeah, really good. solid uh, grouping there. Again, two low left uh, nines there. Just that's where we're at. We're on the sea. That's, that's pushing those two arrows out a little bit. Uh, he needed a 10 to secure those two set points. Yep. And just when he needed it, he lands it. And look, it's like he knows that it's going into the tent before he stepped onto the shooting line. A really confident American, Steve Vier, affording us a little smile here that he knows that he's got to start finding the tens in order to put some kind of pressure on the in-form man, Brady Ellison. Just outside the 10 there. centered shot there from Steve. Settle him down. A great view here. So you watch the smooth, controlled release from Ellison. They've upgraded Steve's to a nine asterisk there because it's pretty close to the ten line there. But I, even his coach called it a nine. So I think that's something to, to keep in mind here. Brady shoots a ten has a chance to Strong potentially focus. win him the match. Well, this is it. Oh, ten, ten, and he gets ten. another perfect, well, now it's marked as a nine, and that's going to a measure. At the moment, it's 29 apiece, and that will mean the set points are shared, but we've got two arrows, one from each archer, that are subject to a measure. Here's the target judge. See if we can have a listen. 10, 10, 10. That sounds like a 10, 10, 10 for Ellison. Okay, 
Oh, and it stays as a nine for Steve Vaya. And a 10, 10, 10, perfect score for Ellison. And he is confirmed as the winner here in Antalya. It's his second stage win of the year out of three, three medals in the three stages as well. He's the in form man and he's the champion of Antalya. And his wife, Toya Ellison, there shoots for Slovenia, delighted after some nervy moments. Mackenzie, question marks all around at the end there. Yeah, it was, it was really uh, on, I think everybody was on the edge of their seats waiting for, for the reaction as to see who, who was going to win that match. But really solid shooting from, from both Brady and Steve, just really good shooting in this gold medal match.